looks like they are uh, still shuffling up. <laughs> what is that field center? I don't know. At first, I thought it was me yeah. because it kind of does. It eerily looks like me, but it's actually. Uh, I think it's like one of their friends or something. Oh, you love to see that. Yeah, I will say I am a sucker for novelty field centers. All right, roll the dice. What do we got? That's a two, and I don't know what else. Four, so that's a six. And it looks I, like I, he's rolled a box car, so. <laughs> Six to seven. Um, this matters a little bit. Obviously, getting established as Thunder Dragon is important, but at the same time, Salaman Great definitely has the tools to chew through a board. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Salaman Great, I mean, you've got Mirage Stallio to deal with Colossus. Granted, being under Colossus does, you know, hurt a lot because, yeah. you know, it hurts your sign at minings. It just, hurt, it just hurts a, in so many different ways. But, Wait, uh, uh, is Debleeson on enemy controller and Shunichi's sleeves have enemy controller the on irony. them? irony. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> Those are really nice sleeves, though. They are. We'll see. Enemy control is really nice, too, because you can also just take the Thunder Player's Colossus or Titan for your own. Yeah, and, it seems uh, good. Yeah, it's really good for also taking a Nibiru token <laughs> and uh, just slapping your <laughs> opponent with it, which I've done many a time so far. Sometimes you can't out it. So Ash Blossom for the Battery Man Solar Normal Summon from uh, Shunichi here. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if I like this. Um, it's hard to put a value on the Battery Man Solar Mill just because it's good under certain conditions and bad under others. Uh, but we'll see what the follow-up play for Shunichi is. So he's going to pitch a Matrix here. This is probably just going to help him get into a Colossus, and that might just be the end of his turn. Oh, that's <laughs> if, that's a pretty good argument for ashing the uh, the token. For sure. And if that's all he's got, I mean, that could be uh, that should be very easy for Tbilisin to chew through here. Yeah. So he, uh, I will say, Shunichi uh, plays three copies of Paleozoic Dynamiscus, and so that's most likely the set card. Uh, ooh, he also main decks Super Poly, actually. Ooh, wow. Ooh. So uh, There's a lot of cool stuff in both of these decks, but the main deck Super Polymerization is likely going to come in crutch, and he does have a Salman Great Violet Chimera in the extra deck. Could happen. So here we go with the uh, normal summon of Foxy. That's uh, one piece of a Mirage Stallio. And, oh, the Econ. <laughs> All right, we're going straight to it. Wow. Just like the simulations. There it is in the extra. So he's going to allow it. He's going to tribute off the Foxy, take the Colossus... Now, he can't attack with that Colossus. That's very significant. <laughs> Chat says the set card is super polymerization. Ooh, well, I hope so. I could definitely mess What's with What's the, the rarity on that card? Is that a secret? I can't tell if it's a secret or like a... It looks ultra. Is it, is it the uh, Ancient Sanctuary Ultras? I'm not sure. Anyway. Sign up mining, going to pitch a Phantasme. Phantasme, not particularly good against oh. Thunder. Ooh, excuse me, he's going to pitch Jack Jaguar. Looks like he uh, sent the wrong card by accident. <laughs> Jaguar, even worse to have in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that look on his face. He's like, oops. <laughs> and so uh, Gazelle now is going to uh, summon itself because a Salaman Great was sent to the graveyard. I love that interaction. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh Basically, if you believe that you can gazelle, you are likely correct. So the interesting thing is here, there is the threat of Super Poly that uh, Dublison may not know uh, is looming, but uh, Shunichi could also just have a Nibiru in his hand and can just end his entire life. Yeah. <laughs> could have a Nibiru in the hand, could have a Super Polymerization set. Either of those are quite good. Now, Dublison does have the Foxy Engrave. He could use its effect if he manages to get a spell or trap on the field. But he would need to go into a Bay Lynx to get that far. Oh, and it looks like he's... I saw, like, a hand motion that could be construed as passing. Yeah, that's... I can't imagine he's doing Right, that. I don't think so either. Maybe he's just... It looks like he's just, like, kind of talking out loud to himself. Which, uh, I've seen people like Billy Brake do. I do this. Uh, I think it's really helpful. Especially if you're... If you're an auditory, like, learner. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very just... It's different just hearing it in your head and then actually talking about it out loud. So uh, Gazelle's going to dump Spinny, so that does give him access to uh, Mirage Stallio. All right, so we're going to go ahead and summon this copy of Spinny. I think... The Jaguar's already engraved, so there's not a huge imperative. Yeah, barring the Super Poly, he should have game with what's on board. Yeah. Because the the col the biggest problem with, with Salomon Great is that you can assemble, like, 5,000 damage... Or, like, 5,500 damage, like, very easily. But, like, you need, like, a missing piece. And usually it's, like, Nibiru helps, like, giving you the 3K body. Colossus is good because it's 26. So this should be very... Again, obviously, if you have Super Poly, that completely changes everything. But 
he has the tools to be able to OTK if he sees that is the line of play at this point. He's going to summon Falco because he already has Jack Jaguar in the graveyard. To those of you asking about uh, transcode OTKs, um, the Belisian is actually not playing transcode Taco. Which is defensible. Yeah, that's. It's kind of like one. Is he playing uh, Borload instead? No, he's actually not playing any of it. Oh, His format okay. is Appaloosa. Okay, that's fair. She gets big. She's also just like a nice card you can just make if you haven't committed to a Mirage Stallio yet. Right. Especially if you're on turns like two or three. It's very good for playing around cards like Nibiru and then comboing off. Right. Hilariously, he's playing a Violet Chimera, but no Fusion of Fire. The only way he can make it is the main deck to Super Polymerizations. So here comes the uh, Sunlight Wolf. He's going to resurrect Jack Jaguar by putting Mirage da back into his extra deck. That will trigger Jack Jaguar and add a... Uh, gazelle back presumably to Presumably Gazelle back to hand, yeah. I don't know why you would add anything else. Looks like Shunichi's thinking, and the only reason I can think that Shunichi would be thinking is they're thinking about if they should eat this board with a super polymerization. Shunichi just taking a quick read of Foxy. Yes, it has a grave effect. Are we going to see Nibiru? Oh, please. He's summoned five times. That is five. Oh, is that Ooh, a super or is poly? It the super poly? Yep, yep, there it is. Wow. Chat. Correct. It says, um... And then another one in hand. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you draw two. So he's going to discard his uh, extra copy of Super Poly here. He's going to fuse away, uh, presumably, the Sunlight Wolf and the Jack Jaguar to go for the uh, Violet Chimera. To the, all right, sure. Yep. Chimera time. Interested to see where he's going to put it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to eat your opponent's extra monster zone to establish dominance here. And so, so is there a way to get this Colossus off the board? He could just could he just ram the Colossus into the Chimera? Well, he doesn't have a way to protect it, so that seems like a reason. Yeah, I feel play. like that's how you get rid of it. You see the switch to attack position. Hey, maybe it's time. The Chimera's on... Uh, what's Chimera's base attack? Because it gains half of the materials, right? So it gains 1,800. Its base is 28. So it's... Uh, 46, Much bigger. 4,600? That's a fair amount of damage, but a small price to pay to not have to deal with Colossus. Yeah, I think that's fine. So, so uh... He'll take 2,000 in that exchange? I think so. Yeah. I'll check real quick. And I think that's perfectly reasonable. I mean, you just want to get rid of that Colossus and not have to deal with it. And knowing that, uh, knowing that Shunichi's hand is so uh, middling, it really makes sense to remove the only other threat from his board. I wonder if he summoned it in defense... Would that have actually prevented the Colossus from getting destroyed? Like, would, would, would uh, Violet Chimera have enough defense to withstand? I mean, probably. Yeah. Uh, Violet Chimera has 2,000 defense. Does it, gain the, does it gain the defense, too, or is it just attack? Uh, I think just the attack. Oh, yeah, if it gains the just the attack. Oh, okay. It's arguable, but then, you know, any way to link off the, um, the Colossus just actively loses you the game. And so he's going to take 4,600 to the face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shunichi uh, trying to win this game by taking almost zero actions here. <laughs> so, but the thing is that Salamangre is a very strong deck after it gets past turn one. Because now look at the resources that that uh, the Blessing has. I mean, he has the uh, Spinny, he has the Jack Jaguar, he has the Foxy, he has the Falco. I mean, there's just so many things that he can do now. He can get his uh, Bay Lynx to get his Sanctuary. And, you know, Shunichi just... Oh, wait, he says, hold up, oh, it's fantastic. fan time. Okay. So, Fant has the ability to smooth out the hand at the very least. So, they're just uh, fixing the chain links up a little bit here, because I believe Phantasmia would be actually chain link three. Oh, Chad, is that right? Huh, whoops. Oh, it's only until the end of the turn? Whoopsie, my mistake. So, we're going to gain that 1,800 back. So, it should be on 32. In our defense, uh, when was the last time you saw a game with a Violet Chimera last more than the turn after it attacks back? 
So Phantasme resolves, Shunichi gets a couple cards. You better hope one of those is a Nibiru. I better hope one of those is a Thunder Dragon. How are we going to actually play the deck? Phantasme is also, it's a little bit annoying because it can stop uh, any targeting effect, and Mirage Stallion happens to be a targeting effect. It doesn't, Thank goodness. Yeah, it's like, it, you're not getting like any value out of it. You're kind of just like protecting your board. But uh, it's still just, ra it's also big, so it's kind of just annoying for Salad Great to deal with. So he's going to grab the Sanctuary. Sick rip. So now he has Sanctuary to be able to resurrect his Foxy. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a lot to work with. I, I'm not necessarily sure if he can OTK on this turn, but he's going to be able to do a lot to take control of this. So here comes Spinny. Spinny's going to make Mirage Stallion with Gazelle. So what's the most frustrating thing that Shunichi could discard off of the Phantasme? Discard? Yeah. Uh, for the effect. I don't think there's anything particularly annoying. There's got to be something in Thunder. Uh, a fusion, maybe. I, I guess. We I discard mean, the fusion, we live until next turn, and then we yeah, figure out a way to pop off. That's fair. I think at that point, like, he's just trying to... I mean, okay, here's, here's a hypothetical. Do you Nibiru if, like, the blessing is just going off at this point? Yes. And just, like, nuke your whole field? I mean, I, I'd wait a little longer. No, of course. Yeah, you wait. You wait until he's at the point where he's exhausted all of his graveyard recursive effects. So you wait till the Jack Jaguar has been wasted, mm -hmm. uh, till the Foxy's been wasted. Looks like the Foul is about to hit the field as well. Yeah. But that's fine. I mean, like Foul's just like kind of extra at this point. Yeah. That's what's frustrating about Salaman Great is that even after you exhaust all of their resources, they have all these incredible extenders. And so here's like one of the unfortunate things about like Appaloosa. Like he doesn't have an he, he could get more monsters on the board, but the problem is like he's already committed to Mirage Stallio, so like he can't go into it. Well, I'm sorry, he can go into it, but like it, it can't use its effect. So it doesn't really help him in this particular scenario to like to defend against a card like that. Not that you need it, it's just like an annoying part about that card. All right, so it looks like we are going to go for the Violet Chimera, and Chunichi says, sure. Put him back. I'm not beat up about it. He must really hope that that, uh, that Phantasma is going to last. He could also say Phantasma possibly for the targeting effect of uh, Heat Leo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very possible. Also possible the cards in his hand are just really good. Could be that, too. Or he does have the Nibiru, and he's like, eh. I don't care if you bounce this, because I'm just going to nuke your board anyway. Hey, do what you want to do. I'm not expending any resources on saving my monsters. You gave me my super poly target back. Mm. <laughs> Is he on one? Of course. I mean, that could be relevant. Yeah. He Granted, he doesn't have it set at the moment, but... No, he said he's played two super poly this game. Does he have the third? That, that, yeah, exactly. He could have drawn it off of the uh, Phantasme. Awful. <laughs> This is also one of the reasons I like Phantasmia is so good in the mirror match with Salomon Gray, just because it's like it's it's like Pankratops with Trickstar, it's just like impossible to get over. Yeah. Oh no, I'm Salomon. Well, I guess I can say Pankratops with Salomon Gray too, because it's the same <laughs> issue. But <laughs> you can target the Pankratops, it just doesn't feel good. Yeah, exactly. Anyone who plays Trickstar knows exactly what I'm talking about. Or did play Trickstar, I should say. If you're playing Trickstar in 2019, you it's need, completely different. You need to seek medical attention. You don't know the abject fear of seeing a monster with 1,900 <laughs> attack points. In 2017. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> so we're seeing a, a Link 3 potentially here? Okay, All right, so the Heat Leo. Heat Leo. No spin effect, which well, I there's can't... no targets. Yeah. That effect is so good. It's <laughs> absurd. <laughs> it's, it's so insane. powerful. So now we're going to probably see the Reincarnation Link Summon. But again, like he can just negate this effect and just take out this... Uh, well... He can't take out the Heat Leo because he'll just protect it with Bailings, but he can negate the uh, attack draining effect. And he is going to do That's so. That's exactly what's going to happen. What yeah. are we discarding? Let's find out. Oh, is... He's just going to take it. Oh, all right. His, the cards in his hands must just, must, just, must just be that powerful. Oh, it doesn't look like he's dead here. No. Uh, what was the target for the uh, Heat Leo? <sighs> What's the lowest? I think the lowest attack he has in Grave is five. Oh, no, he's an Ash, so a 1,000. Or, excuse me, it becomes zero. So 23 and 18. 23 and 18, yeah. So he'll take 41 in total. Brings him down to 39. A respectable life total. Yeah. That is finally kill range for Salomon Green. <laughs> 
it is shocking to me that a deck that can special summon 45 times in one turn cannot muster together, you know, 8,000 points of damage. Well, it's easy, because it can't make Boral Sword Dragon, that's why. Well, yeah, that is... What are we getting our Fire Rocket Link? Well, I mean, that's why they play Transcode, because it's like, it's, it's not Boral Sword, but it's like the next best thing. So now we see a Foxy Summon. Here's where he's going with this. So he's going to link off the Jaguar for another Bailinx, just to load up the Grave, I suppose. Then link off Gazelle for another. Okay. Yeah, we're really going. He could hard, make huh? Appaloosa for two. This is where you make Pyro. Yeah. Phoenix. Okay. So Appaloosa has two. That's not the most menacing, but it's still annoying for especially a deck of all monsters and two sets. So that could potentially just be a roar with the Bailinx right there. All right. Let's see what this Thunder Dragon hand looks like. It must have been good. So there is a Thunder Monster in the graveyard, important for Hawk reasons. Shunichi's got, you know, his hand refueled by the Phantasme, so. Oh, speaking so. of Hawk reasons, there's the Hawk. So this is a prime negation target I for agree. Appaloosa. I agree. I don't think you get away with it. So if those asking in the chat, yes. Uh, the Blessing did use Mirage Stallio. You can still summon, you just can't use the effects of the monsters that turn that you use Mirage Stallio. All right, so okay, Apple's... Yeah, yeah, I'll negate. I agree. I feel like that's prime negation. But again, you have to think, too. It's Shunichi's, like, first, like, move. So is he, like, just like, oh, I'll just throw this out. He's going to negate this. Yeah, I mean, you have to be thinking about that. But at the same time... Wow, Hawk is such a critical choke point for Thunder Dragon. I don't think you can pass it up no matter what. I agree. And so here's the roar. That's going to get negated as well. So Appaloosa on zero attack. All right. And there's, and there's the, the fusion, fusion which is going to eat the, the roar. roar. Yep. Shunichi's going to scoop that one up. So Dwesson's going to take the first one here. We haven't like, seen a ton of Sky Striker. No, we haven't. Uh, I, hopefully, I mean, I, I imagine we're going to see him in top 16. I, yeah. I don't see a world where that doesn't happen, but... Friendly little handshake there. Gotta love it. I think my favorites for things I want to see in top 16 include exactly to Blessing's list. Um, Guru and We have Infernoid. Um, and Infernoid. Infernoid's already in, yep. Okay, you're getting me excited. <laughs> so is Guru guaranteed in? Uh, I think so. Ooh, nice. This is a much better hand already. I, I was going to say, Gold Sark is uh, very ideal and no Ash Blossom. Well, the Ash Blossom would be activated now. He's going to activate the effect of Roar. Okay, and fair, there fair, it is. fair, fair, fair. Okay, well, at least that's one Ash Blossom gone. It looks like that's a Lupine in hand, if I'm seeing that I correctly. think Shunichi's actually, is he playing three Lupine? Yeah. Three um, Lupine, two Solar. Shouts out to three months ago when Thunder Pilot said that you need to be cutting Lupine, if not to one, to zero. Uh, I think the wisdom on that is kind of flipped, and you're starting to see people go to a 3-2 split, favoring Lupine over Solar. It's just so impressive. And now it's a pretty super rare. Oh, uh, this, this is not great. No. We're so using your normal summon on Matrix is never fantastic. Um, using it without a hand effect is even worse. The Blessing just having the Ash Blossoms. <laughs> I mean, that's... Like Sometimes you have it. And he just sets and passes. Oh, wow. And we see his two back... That has to be a Sanctum or a Trap Trick. One of them has to be a Trap Trick. Yeah. And if it's a Sanctum, you know, then we actually do have to play the game. If one of them is a Scythe, then we have an even worse problem. That's true. Okay, so it looks like I'm seeing a roar. And evenly. Ooh. Do you fire I, evenly? I don't think you do. No, yeah, there's no way. So a normal summon a Buffalo. It's going to link that off into a Bay Lynx. It's already outclassing the Link Rebo. Yep, board. so Chain Link 1 Buffalo to protect it. Chain Link 2 on the Bay Lynx. So he's going to search Sanctuary before drawing a couple cards off this Buffalo. So, I feel as if you had a uh, Sanctum, you would have fired it when the Bufferlow was normal summoned. Yeah, or, I mean, do you care at this point? Because, okay, so one reason to not is because of... Oh, actually, no, that wouldn't matter. Um, I mean, Bailinx isn't, like, that threatening. Granted, like, I guess you don't want him to get it engraved for the uh, protection effect, but... Right. And you'd also deny And I don't this. want him to draw a whole Right, bunch I was going to say, you would deny this Buffalo, so, yeah. Oh, wow. A super poly, an evenly matched. Oh, my goodness. The Blessing's got everything. He's got a sign at mining, too. Ugh. 
So here comes Sinet mining. It's going to get him to his gazelle. Do you ash here if you're Shunichi? Mm, that's, he discarded evenly. <laughs> oh, what a that's, flex. That's confident. What a flex. Yeah. The thing is, like, you could ash this. I think you could just also save it for Stalio. Like, it kind of just, it depends. I don't know what Shunichi's back row are is the problem. Right. Like, it's, it's hard to make a, a decision like that just based off the info right here. But the Blessing's got a lot of cards to work with now. It's got a grip of about eight cards yeah. in hand at this point. I think point. he has a Will in hand, too, as, like, an extender. Looks like Will, uh, Sanctuary, Roar... Oh, whoa. It's going to Baylinx into Baylinx. Okay, this is going to trigger Gazelle. Gazelle yeah. Mm -hmm. This will get him she to spinny. Yes. Okay, are we going to see a Nibiru? One, Checking. two, three, four, right? Uh, Ash, One, two, three, Baylinx, Gazelle, Baylinx. Yeah. Yeah, so we've only seen four so far. Super oh, wait, pulling no. now. It's, it's Buffalo, Baylinx, Baylinx, Gazelle, yeah. Yeah, it's four. But we're just going to see Super Poly here. Yeah, I don't know about this. Um, the Blessing does get to send off of the Gazelle, but the thing is, like, he's... So, the Blessing's already committed to his normal summon. Yeah. So, there's actually not a lot I don't think he can do at this point. <laughs> Discarding uh, a Super Poly for Super Poly again? again? <laughs> so, what he could do... Wait, wait, wait. The Blessing has a Super Poly of his own, correct? Oh, Didn't no. Didn't we establish no, this? No, so, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So, he just, he just yeah, so he can it. send Foxy, pitch a Salamander card, resurrect Foxy, and then Super Poly the Chimera and the Foxy for a Chimera of his own. And because he used a Chimera for the Chimera... Wait, what's the material on Chimera? It's a Link plus a Salamander, right? Oh, wait, he wouldn't have to... No, he could just... He can resurrect and just make another Link. Well, no, doesn't he just have... Can't he just eat his opponent's board here? Oh, he could just do that, too. You're right. But then he doesn't get to use the uh, Chimera for another Chimera summon. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you want to reincarnation summon? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what does that do? Apparently the monster's attack becomes zero during damage calc. you got to find another way to bait out the Link Revo. But that's oh, that's true. Cool. Yeah, Link Revo wouldn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to summon Foxy pitching the roar. He does have the uh, Sanctuary face up to be able to do that. How did he summon Foxy? From the graveyard. He special summoned it from the, from the graveyard, yes. If it weren't for Link Karibo, that would be cool. <laughs> and here's the will. All right, hear me out. We super poly for, <laughs> we super poly for Violet Chimera. We link it away. We, uh, we resurrect it with will. I'm going to deepen my own head now. So will going to resurrect Gazelle, and now he can go to Mirage Stallio. Uh, he can bounce the Chimera back. After he Mirage Stallions, of course. So he's probably going to get Jack Jaguar here, I imagine. And so now he's going to link off to the Sunlight Wolf. Just very standard Salamangrate stuff now. Yeah. Going to trigger Stallio. Again, the nice thing is, like, it's kind of like playing against Striker when you play against Salomon Great, is that, like, you know you're fairly safe from right. dying. Although, if the Blessing gets enough damage, if, again, he has this Super Poly in his hand that we, we're pretty sure that he does, if he has another card, he could just attack with everything and then Super Poly make Chimera for game. That's one of the advantages of playing Super Poly, is that you can get that extra burst damage when you're in a situation like this and just win out of nowhere. Don't like it. Super Polymerization as a combat trick is about as cute as it gets. Yeah, because it's funny how irrelevant those types of cards usually are unless it's like True Draco Apocalypse. Exactly. That's probably like the most relevant combat trick in the game, and that's like not even very relevant because that means you have to be playing Draco, which is very unlikely. Although we saw it for our round uh, seven feature match. We did. It happened. I'm just looking real quick. Yeah, you, you bounce the Chimera here. Yeah. I don't see any reason why you don't. For sure. And, and then... If you can just assemble a ton of monsters on the board, that's what you try and do. The problem is Link Karibo does make it a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. It's going to trigger Sunlight. We'll have to add back Gazelle. Yep. He's already exhausted, I think, 
uh, all of his Salamon Greats at this point. He's used Gazelle, Spinny, Foxy, Foxy, Jaguar now. Yeah, so he's out of those. I guess we'll put the Ash back. That seems okay. Yeah. I think that's fine. I mean, if Shunichi's, like, in this vulnerable position... Oh, he's going to take Gazelle. Okay. Nice. Oh. Nope. Uh, uh, Deciding uh, on Ash. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's a tough call. Wow, and saving the Super Poly. I kind of like this. It's patient and reserved, but he has the ability to be patient and reserved. So he's going to take uh, 1,800 from this. I think it's fine, because, again, the Blessing doesn't have the means to get the extra damage in. How big would that Chimera be? 46? If It'd he do a lot, and then, you know, his opponent would still get a turn. Right, exactly. So it's not enough in this case. But the tough thing is, he can't set Super... Well, he could set Super Poly, but he can't use it. Yeah, I think that, you know, Unless either Ash or Super Poly is likely to win this game. Which... The question is, which does it, like, come down to, essentially? Yeah. You could argue that if the Blessing left up the Sunlight Wolf, if Shunichi used that zone to trigger it, <laughs> give him a card back, <laughs> that would be next level. That would be next to next level. But he's going to get the roar back, too. Yeah, that's good enough. Ooh, so that's two cards. And this, this, and this works as well. I mean, if he feels that he has to Super Poly at some point, he's got it. But Ash, otherwise, might just be enough. Yeah. And Shunichi with, what, two cards in hand and one set? Well, Thunder can pop off with very few cards. They've got to be pretty specific. What if Shunichi has a third Super Poly set? <laughs> Please. Oh, gosh, I hope that's true. So we're going to see Link Karibo actually resurrect itself with this Matrix here. So that's going to add a Matrix to hand, but what does that do exactly? Oh, it gets him a plus one at the very least. Nets even. Oh, it nets even, actually, you're right. Well, he does have exactly the means to make another Violet Chimera now. <laughs> you are right. Oh, please. <laughs> Tell me that's how this game ends. I, it won't end that way because, of course, it won't end. that's not 8,000. Ooh, and he passes it back, I think, with no cards in hand. Wow. So no Super Poly available. You know, I feel kind of bad for Shunichi. This is, this is I depressing. I do. Hasn't gotten to go off at all. No. And he's gotten first both games. Yeah. And hard loss to Ash both games. I mean, if there is one major criticism of pure Thunder, it's that it is a bricky deck. And Shinichi proving why it's earned that reputation. So he's going to activate Will. This is what's so incredible. If Will sticks around, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Only going to use its uh, first effect, though. Not going to crack it. So he's going to get a Gazelle that's going to trigger Gazelle to send a Falco. Mm hmm And this is nice because now he can bounce Gazelle back to his hand to summon the Falco, and then now he can uh, special Gazelle out of his hand again. At this point, I think the Blessing is just trying to just dump a bunch of monsters on the board for game. Trying to figure out uh, the way that locks out the most answers from Shinichi. Like, you can't see two sets and not be a little bit concerned. Yeah, I'm just genuinely curious what those back row are. And Shinichi doesn't display any emotion whatsoever. Yeah. He's very Hardened composed. character. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see the Heat Leo threaten the back row here. Ooh, Dynamiscus. So, Dynamiscus. That's a good one. So it does discard for effect. Uh, he decides to roar oh, this, he I see think. the super... Oh, oh, the war. Okay, yeah. For sure. Uh, you want to be able to reincarnation summon. Yes. And, uh, that will put a stop to it. And so uh, that set card should be shuffled back. Correct. Or did he target the the Dino Mysteries? Oh, he must he must have targeted the Dino Mysteries. Okay. Those of you asking, uh, saying Dino Mysteries is bad, why are people playing it? It's specifically good in Thunder. Thunder kind of needs a catch-all for both floodgates that lock them out of the game and problematic monsters, and this is a great way to fuel your graveyard in the process. So the Blessing also gets the Gazelle out of his hand by Reincarnation Link summoning the uh, Heat Leo. He did already dump, so he doesn't get to do that again. He's also going to trigger the roar uh, from Reincarnation Link Summoning to set it. Which, you know, of course it has that effect, too. Do you think that set card was the Scythe? I, I, I don't know what else it could have been. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I, I'm just dumbfounded. It had to have been. I'm, I'm looking at his list now, and I can't think of any other card it possibly could have been in, in his list. <laughs> Chat says it is Scythe. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. But that's one of the risks you take when you play an engine like that. As powerful as it is, it has a very big drawback. <laughs> I 
Me and DeBlessing just trying to add up here. Link Rebo makes this a little bit difficult. I think... He's just going to attack. Okay, so yeah. uh, so we're going to take 18, 23. That's a ton. Oh, and Super Poly for game. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Super Poly, my own board. It was a combat trick after all. Yep, and DeBlessing's going to take... 